Welcome back to Pulse of the Port. We're alongside the 710 freeway and Ocean Boulevard ramp in Long Beach, which will be demolished soon to make way for a new bridge. Port of Long Beach Community Relations Manager John Pope has been here for every step of that project. Now this latest demolition will have this ramp closed for quite a while, 30 months in fact. What is the port doing to make sure that traffic keeps moving smoothly? Well, the first step was physical improvements to the roadway. We wanted to make sure that Pico was all set to handle a higher traffic volume. So we made a lot of improvements along Pico to make sure that that's, uh, that could take place. The second step was communication. Uh, we really went uh, far and wide to make sure that motorists were aware of the closure and could take steps to uh, avoid it if they can, and if not, just uh, make sure that they're safe and slow in, in taking the detour. What about some of the other things that uh, you offer to people? I mean, I understand the website's pretty uh, robust, but there's uh, some new technology as well. Yeah, our website, newgdbridge.com, is really a, a comprehensive area to get all the latest info and news and video on the project. We also have a mobile uh, smartphone app, uh, which is very popular as well. Uh, and that even can give uh, push notifications in the event that there's uh, traffic situations that we want people to be aware of. I guess every little bit helps on a project this size. Thank you, John. Next, let's look at how the port is helping protect wildlife in our area. One animal in particular desperately needed the port's aid after a vicious attack. Gabriela Fresquez has more on a badly injured pelican. Watching these beautiful birds dive into the ocean, it's hard to believe that hundreds, if not thousands of them, are injured on purpose every year. Some of the lucky ones are rescued and nursed back to health. But who does this, and how do they pay for it? To answer these questions and more, I visited the International Bird Rescue in San Pedro to meet a California brown pelican, whose nickname is Pink. So tell me about Pink the pelican. Well, Pink came to us in mid-April. Uh, he's a California brown pelican, and uh, he was found in Long Beach with a really severe injury. Basically his pouch had been severed off of his bill. The worst part about this situation is that it looks like it was human cause. The extent of the, the injury and the straightness of the injury gives us the impression that this was caused by a human basically. I think what I'm wondering and everybody else is too is why would anyone want to hurt these beautiful birds? I'm not sure I could get into the mind of someone like that honestly. <laughs> I mean he is an amazing bird. I mean first of all it's illegal. This bird is protected. So we don't know who did this. Uh, we're working with federal agencies to figure out uh, if there are any leads in the case, but at the end of the day, we don't, we don't know. It sounds like it's a pretty intense recovery. Are these surgeries pretty costly? And what is the span of the recovery time for these birds? A pink has undergone two surgeries to repair the injury. It's taken about six hours total under anesthesia and hundreds of stitches. But as you can see, uh, we can almost, uh, we can't even really tell that the injury was once there just a few weeks ago. He's definitely a fighter and we're really happy for the support that we've received. So what else do you have around here? Can you show me around? Yeah, absolutely. We've got a lot to see. Since 1971, International Bird Rescue has been helping seabirds and other aquatic birds from around the world. Here in California, they operate two centers which care for more than 5,000 birds every year. So I understand the Port of Long Beach has actually given $5,000 for the surgical and rehab care for pink. Why is this important and what difference does it make? It makes a huge difference, especially for a case like this, which is extremely complex, and it's gonna take a long time to care for this animal. We were absolutely thrilled when the Port of Long Beach contacted us. It definitely sets a precedent for people in the community to step up and really help the wildlife in their area. As a steward of the natural resources in our harbor, the Port of Long Beach works to ensure all our wildlife continues to thrive and that their natural habitats are preserved and whenever possible, also improved. Knowing that Pink is well taken care of and making a full recovery is reassuring. But before we go, there's someone else I'd like you to meet. This is Justin from the Port of Long Beach. Hello. Hi, thanks for being with us. So I understand the Port of Long Beach has a number of programs that help protect, maintain, and restore wildlife. Can you tell me about the progress that these programs have made over the years? We conduct biological surveys uh, jointly with the Port of Los Angeles. We um, did our baseline survey back in year 2000. We did another survey back in 2008. And now we're currently underway on our 2013 and 14 survey. How can you tell that there's been a difference in terms of the wildlife that exists there now? As a result of the port's efforts on sediment and water quality improvement projects, we've seen a dramatic increase in species diversity. We're seeing more marine mammals and birds, uh, more life on the, on the rocks, 
and uh, we're really excited to see quite an array of fish species and everything living in the water column. So what do you think about Pink's overall journey? It's really inspiring to see. It's, of course, a very sad thing that we saw we see happen with Pink, but we're really excited about his progress. As most of you know, harming migratory birds is a federal felony, punishable with up to six months in jail and a $15,000 fine. Let's just hope the culprit responsible for hurting Pink is found and prosecuted. But it sure is nice to know that there are organizations and people dedicated to protecting the beautiful animals that grace our coastline. It's not just the port helping out, cargo carriers are lending a helping hand too, with air quality. When we come back, meet the latest crop of environmental award winners.